Hi, uh, my name is Martin Rand. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Pactum, and we're making the world better uh, by negotiating commercial deals with AI. Uh, our customers are the largest enterprises in the world, including Walmart, who is the largest enterprise in the world by revenue. And most of our revenue is coming from uh, Fortune 500 companies. Also, flagship uh, enterprises like DocuSign have invested. And the idea of Pactum really stemmed uh, from, from a personal story. I used to be the commercial lead for Climate Corporation for the uh, whole of Europe. And I had to negotiate uh, with food and ag enterprises in Europe. So I could begin my week by negotiating with the uh, Ukrainians on a Monday and with the French uh, on a Friday. And I think I got to see every cognitive bias and every cultural different difference there is to see in negotiations. And then I thought, how much value globally is lost due to inefficient negotiations? Because essentially all of the value, all of the money moves based on negotiations. Uh, so we looked into this problem with our team. Uh, Casper uh, used to be the um, founder of e-residency, which is one of the most well-known e-government programs in Europe. Uh, my background is uh, in Skype. I also set up uh, a farm management company. We scaled it early and sold it to Monsanto. Uh, and Christian has a PhD in AI and machine learning, and he used to be the AI lead in Starship, which is an autonomous delivery robots company. And if we looked into the problem, the problem became even larger that we needed to solve. So a large enterprises have tens of thousands of suppliers and 80% of them are neglected because simply uh, they are too small. Uh, so the initial terms are imposed on these vendors and they are never, the deals are never renegotiated. So such cookie cutter deals could be more valuable for both sides, but humans are simply too expensive to renegotiate those small deals. Uh, so we set up Pactum to, to solve it and we built an AI that can conduct commercial negotiations uh, through currently through a chat interface, as you can see here. It's like a human, it's negotiating based on contract terms uh, through a chat. Uh, and how we create value is that both the vendor and the enterprise have things that they value more or things that they value less. And the system finds the trades between those uh, and does the trade. So both sides end up winning and the machine can do it 10,000 10, times in a week. So our business model is simple. Uh, we, uh, we take either a fraction of the profit uh, as a profit share, uh, or uh, we, we charge a fixed P per negotiation. And we only, in each case, we only charge for successful negotiations because we are so sure that we can create value that if we don't create value, then the customer doesn't have to pay anything. And, and here's the process of how we create this value. So firstly, we, we visit the customer, we do, or visit them over video calls, and we do, um, we track all the contract parameters uh, we conduct then these negotiations uh, autonomously um, and generate the agreements, get them signed and update the information uh, into, your, uh, into the corporate ERP. So the system essentially works on autopilot. Uh, and of course, we learn from each, renego uh, each negotiation and each negotiation makes every other negotiation better. So at the end result, we're creating value out of thin air, we, none of the sides have to invest anything. Uh, they just, we take inefficiencies out of the contract. And we have a backend system where the customers can see the percentual, percentage of deal improvement and the monetary value, the millions of dollars of additional value that they've created. And one customer, when they saw this, they were cheering and clapping and saying, saying that, wow, it's a game changer. Um, and we, we really feel that we can improve, uh, we can raise the planetary GDP uh, by taking one size fits all approach out of business deals. So Pactum is generating new value without generating new waste. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
I think it's a very clear presentation and I'm looking now, I can see Stephen Ibaraki wants to ask, ask some questions. Please go ahead, Stephen. Yeah, I'm curious to see what your revenue growth has been over the past 18 months. Uh, revenue growth? Uh, yes, that's correct. Over the past uh, 18 months. Uh, yeah, so, so now we're making uh, uh, tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, and we're, we're, we're a one-year-old company, by the way, uh, per, uh, per month. And, uh, well, it used to be nothing. So that's, uh, that's a big jump from uh, in 12 months. Okay, then what's your forecast uh, for the next 12 months? So we, we raised money and our runway will be uh, uh, two years currently. And, uh, and we're looking to uh, uh, reach break even in uh, 24 months. But, uh, if, but let's, uh, uh, let's do another call for more detailed numbers. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sasha, please go ahead. Quick question, what does the competitive landscape look like for your company? I really love the application, just not aware of what else is in the market. Yeah, so no other company in the world is, is negotiating uh, uh, commercial deals with a machine. There are companies though that are focused on these long tail negotiations where we are focused in as well. But how they are solving it is with bidding. So they take all of the vendors and uh, take them into a bidding platform and then readjust those deals. But we think that negotiations are is way more efficient than bidding because it focuses on all of the aspects of the deal, not only price. I would be curious to learn a little bit more about technology because in the United States, one of those organizations is um, in the healthcare space. It's called Premier Alliance. It's a publicly traded organization. And so they process billions and billions of dollars um, worth of different trades. And it's a combination of both. There is bidding and then there is negotiation involved as well. So you're welcome to reach out and kind of uh, share your approach a little bit more in detail to see if it's applicable and will deliver volume. Thanks so much for this. Mm -hmm. Looking to uh, for other questions if possible, and uh, just really important to know. We're also going to make sure that if there's any of the people that are interested in knowing more about the connection, so that uh, some details can be taken uh, kind of um, off this call. And happy to be uh, a reason for sort of scaling. Um, I'm Ahmed, quick question, if I may. Yes, please. Um, go. Martin, are you able to identify supply chain bottlenecks and, in effect, uh, find a new revenue source from the same data? Uh, so, so we are not a supply chain company. We are not a procurement company. Company. We are inherently a negotiation company. So we know how to uh, get a good deal within existing data, but those. Uh, bottlenecks are quite often identified, and if they can be solved with negotiations, then uh, we can help them. Uh, but we don't want to make our focus too broad. I'm really looking for adjacent benefits of the work you do. In other words, are there are other revenue streams than your current business-to-business -business clientele? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, there is uh, there is probably the public sector as well. Uh, how, however, the you know most of the value in the world is generated by commercial negotiations. So, so, so that's that's a big, big, uh, big market on, in in itself. I applaud the focus, but I think looking at the data may develop other markets. And I, I would really be interested in your thoughts, and I, I'll I'll get uh, uh, I'll I'll ping you later on, and maybe we can follow this up. Maybe on this particular point, I can see one of the questions in the chat saying, "Can this product 
be used by small businesses like grocery stores. So maybe a lot of people are asking kind of the same thing. So maybe you need uh, to give another thought, Martin. Um, uh, so, so in the future, yes, when our system evolves, uh, currently no, because currently the beginning of the project is basically a professional services project. So we go in, we understand every, every detail of the contract, every tactic, every strategy, uh, the goals and the, all the tradable items, uh, all the positive and negative levers. And this we do in the beginning currently with people. And, and that's, uh, that process needs to pay off. So there needs to be some scale currently. Uh, and that's why we're focusing on uh, Fortune 2000, Fortune Global 2000 companies. Okay, okay. That's a good answer. I think maybe you would like to look at the chat or Q&A for some people uh, pinging you on this, uh, on this business model. Uh, 